Righto, welcome back to another episode. This is just a little bit of an update for you guys. Um, we just got those birds like you've seen. Um, I have separated one of the cocks in there because as you've seen in the previous video, he was going crazy. I just went down to um, the hardware store. I picked up this little, um, it's like a chicken cage. But um, what I'm going to do is put a floor in there, jack it up off the ground, put it out in the backyard um, and hopefully fit these nest boxes in here and we can move all those pairs out into the backyard probably tomorrow um, into this thing um, it's just like a super easy idea um, in to get these birds out there breeding right away um, and then if we do move in the next few months all we can do is just pick this up and take it with us and it shouldn't be a problem but we should be able to get one more round out of these guys before um, we do have to move and potentially two we'll just see how um you know the time frame goes but, but i'll keep using the loop with that as i'm definitely trying to um it should be big enough to fit four of those nest boxes in there i've only got to take 100 mil um about this much height off one of these bigger ones um and then i might redo the whole front because i've actually got all these still we can probably use um and we could probably put some nice cool fronts on there and just alternate them each side so we don't get the fighting like we did with the two on that side um so stay tuned because that video will be up in probably tomorrow next few days as i get some time to do it so i've got that timber up there there's a bit of down there too um and what i did as well yeah picked up some of these just some more of these um i'm just going to make a couple of those quick little um I don't know what kind of perches you call them, but just the little wooden ones like we built for the high flies in there one. Um, and we can just screw it to the side of this. I thought we'd just go with something super easy um, as this is just like a temporary thing. Um, pretty cheap too. Um, picked up the floor as well. It's going to be, you know, I'll probably throw that floor away anyway, but you're going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this out to the same size as that um, and screw this down to that and then jack it up on some, um, some bricks outside. And that way we can get these birds breeding um, and then in the next hopefully this week i'll go back to the the store the hardware store and i'll pick up some more timber um, and then we'll start doing some modifications on the main loft so that when we move it out we can get those birds flying very soon what we need to do i didn't um in that last video i didn't tell you what year she is what year is she I'll put it down and grab her out properly because there's quite a few questions about that one. So this little red hen, she's actually 2017, so she's three years old. Um, she see she's got a nice little full belly there. She's kind of pigged out before, um, but I'm just going to fatten her up a little bit because we're going to start breeding from her very soon. She's probably already starting to um, get very close to re getting ready to breed because. Um, I'm pretty sure she's paired up with the cockbird that's actually up in there because she's very aggressive towards the other hen so we um yeah we might just have to wait and see i might um i'm pretty sure my checkered cock out there that um the pied one that you guys like i'm pretty sure that that one is paired up to that herman's hen that's in there so i might even leave them together um we'll just see how we go just drop some comments down below what you think because um, we've actually got four pairs we can set down potentially in this box we'll just see how how much room we got um, I just thought it's better than actually locking those birds up in those little white cabinets and just breeding from them at least they can have a bit more free roam um, and get out and breed and things like that but stay tuned it's going to be pretty cool it's going to be little but um, there's going to be plenty of room for these guys just to relax, raise a few little rounds of babies. We can just get them out flying because I'm pretty excited. Like I definitely want to breed this hen. She is the standout of them. She's unreal. Um, I might uh, show you the cockbird I'm thinking about pairing her up with. Um, he's a little bit younger, but um, 
I think is probably the best match for it. Um, they're very similar built. You know, she is a little bit more muscly than the male, but, um, you know, the only you know, equivalents I've got of this are probably Leo and Titan, and they're both tied up at the moment. I don't want to breed too much out of them. Um, but we might pair this hen up with Leo or Titan later on, uh, maybe early next year. When they have a bit of a break, we might pop out around just to see how they go. Um, we've got plenty of time, so... We'll just get a few rounds out of her with a cockbird. Um, and then, yeah, at least we've got some to fly and some to race next year. So let's do it. And quickly, I'll just show you this cock. This is the cock that's in the box by himself. I'm um, thinking about pairing him up with this one. He, what rank? He is 2018. So he's actually a very similar age. Um, his body type's very similar as well. She's probably got a little bit more muscle on him. She's got more muscle than him, actually. But, um, both their wings are very similar. He's got very, very strong feathers. These things, like, I'd probably compare them to Leo's. Leo's got really, really strong feathers, strong wings, probably the strongest wings I've held in a pigeon for some time. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy. This is only a little short one, a little bit of an update, just to let all you know that um, there is a few things happening. It's not ideal, but um, we just got to get through this transition as quickly and easy as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video um, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Just leave you with some nice footage of this guy. He's not bad, but we'll see how he goes. Got the pearl eye too. Thanks for the, the feedback for you, of you guys. See you in the next video.